Welcome back to WDUR 1490 AM, Leaders and Legends, and we're ending our hour with Bob Giolis. Bob, it's been a pleasure to have you, have you here. Thank you very much. And, it's a um, pleasure to be Bob, here. Bob is the President CEO of RTP. Uh, before I make my closing remarks and, and sort of sum up our hour with you, which has just been so informative, um, the one feedback that I get from a lot of entrepreneurs, and we're working with Secretary Scavarla and the General Assembly on this, a lack of capital. So I know this is something you hear a lot, and uh, we know that you've got our back on this one, but you know we, we don't have enough early stages stage capital. And I know Secretary Scavarla and the governor are working on different things. There's, you know, Jan- Janet Cowles talked about the Venture Multiplier Fund, but still that capital isn't going to the startups that need it. So that's, yeah, I just wanted to make a plug it's, for that. It's, look, we certainly need more capital. I think we all agree on that. We do better than I think most people realize. And I think uh, Joan Seifert Rose at CED has done a wonderful job demonstrating that we've actually seen a much better flow of capital coming in is there more work? Absolutely. Do we need to get some of the big VC funds to locate here? No question. Well, that's a great note. And so, at, first of all, it's just been an honor to have you here. I'm, I've, I really consider myself lucky to, uh, to to work with you in the ways we work together, uh, me representing the town of Morrisville. And my colleagues and I thank you for working with us and all the municipal governments. You're just great. You've been very accessible. Um, I, I think if I had to sum up today's interview with Bob Giolis, I would say that um, he made a statement today when he talked about the mission statement that the mission was to lift up um, the entire state of North Carolina. And in an era today where there's so much division and divisiveness and political gridlock, um, it, it's really nice to see someone lead these efforts in, a, in reminding us of bipartisanship, you know, how we got to where we are today. And for everyone listening to the show, I want you to understand this word very carefully, collaboration. And I know we had Sarah Miller Caldecott on the show, and you, you and I met her, the great granny Thomas Edison, you know, how Edison collaborated. But Archie Davis and the founders of the park collaborated. They had a vision. They came together. They bought the land. They recruited. They leveraged the assets of the university. And this is a great model. And now we're seeing Winston-Salem do it. We're seeing Dur- Durham revitalize Raleigh. And so the the message is that we're a great state. And sometimes it's so hard to get out of that next election cycle that we're just fighting the opportunity to have that vision. So I just want everyone to remember that that's what the triangle stands for. Yeah, you know, I often tell people we're not a people who sit around and wring our hands about the future. That's not who we are. We're not an anxious people. North Carolinians are get-up-and-do people. We see a challenge, we address it, and we address it together. We work together regardless of where we come from, regardless of our own particular uh political philosophies, and we do what's the best interest of North Carolina. That's what makes us a special state. Well, this is great. So uh, we are going to ask everybody to um, go to Leaders and Legends on Facebook so all of your followers can go tune in on, uh, to listen to this on the show. The other thing is, please, we'd love to you to broadcast to your Twitter followers and your Facebook followers Absolutely. this wonderful it. It interview. Be fun. Thank you. And uh, it's been an honor to have you here. And um, we've been with Bob Giolis, President CEO of RTP, a good friend of mine. And um, we thank you for all that you and your board and you know your leaders do to make thank our you. state and a better Thank you for place. your service. Thank you for your service to um, Morrisville and to our region. It means a great deal to us. Well, thank you so much. And so, have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Steve Rouse signing off on Leaders and Legends, and we will be back next week. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Mm-hmm.